Welcome back to CatCam Legend. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how can you make this part by using the bands feature. Okay. So this is very simple tutorial for the beginners. But the basic thing I am going to deliver you is just how can you use the band feature inside the crew parametric sheet metal. So Morty is really very helpful tab for you whenever you are going to deal with the sheet metals okay because you have to create the bands features like as you can see here this part i have created right now with the help of planner and after that i just added some bands over here so now let me show how i made this part first let's have a look at the feature design tree First I added this wall by keeping the wall thickness 0.1 If you look at the section these are the dimensions After that I just created this band Now how it is created let me show Let me suppress these features for now Or, as you can say, you have to come to new part sheet metal. The sun check to select the proper units. Okay. Come to planner. Choose a proper plane. Make it normal. Draw center rectangle. Assign the dimension and I will say okay. Keep the wall thickness point one and say okay. See now after that what I can do I just want to create a bend at the middle of this part this first flat flange so how can i do it just i will click on bend and here we have a lot of things we're going to discuss them one by one so first thing that is required is just define the placement where you want to create bends i want to create bends on this face either you have to just drag these features up to this line because these are the reference positions and up to here but what i can do that rather than to use these features i will go for the band line i will sketch and make it normal and i will just add a simple line over here and i will hit the check mark for now see so automatically bend is created over here you can just change the angle from here and by hitting the arrows you can just make it upward downward left side to be bent and right side to be bent and if you look at here so this is the features which helps you to create the bends on one side another side and on both sides but this feature will help you out you in case of the roll band whenever you are going to deal with the roll band but this is the sample band right now we are dealing with and next we have the two bands features either you have to bend it perfectly like this and like this okay it's up to you whatever this is the full band in case of full band you have to choose it this one by assigning the thickness folio and for example just go for five two and one for now okay so you can do it see now this side this side or this side it's up to you okay 
So this is how you can just create a simple band or you can say the sketch band by using the band line feature. And I will say OK. Now the next thing is just want to go for the band feature and this time I will go for the roll band. It's mean you have to bend something up to 360 degree. Okay. So I will go for the roll band and after that what I can do you have to look at the value of the radius. You have to set up it. Although it will not work with you still the check mark is green it's mean you are able to assign the proper value of radius uh, for example i just want to assign the proper value right now 3.35 but that's up to you you have to change it up to when it gets take place okay so after this what i can do this is what actually the flat pattern or you can say the flat flange is converted into a roll band okay now the next thing we have to deal with the placement band line is the transition which help us out to we have another features this time i want to bend a specific portion of this feature what i can do i don't want to be have the full roll band okay i want to be have bend some of the specific portion over here which actually and mostly we're dealing with the clamps and etc so let me show that when i go for the transition i will click on the add transition and i will go for sketch again i will make it normal and i will add two lines like this the portion that you want to be built is like this and when I go OK, you can assign the dimension if you want. OK, and but right now I just hit the check mark. So you will see this is how you can just deal with, but actually, this is really helpful. OK, the transition is really helpful because you don't want to be have the full round band. OK, you just want to be have the roll band at specific portion specific region so you can do it actually and when i just hit the check mark by using the metal mouse key so you can so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you are surprised at how this taken place so mostly you have to know about the transition okay which help you out in case of sheet metal bands so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial remember one thing if you are new on my channel and first time you're watching my videos so please subscribe our channel and become a part of our community for more interesting videos and free tutorials thanks for watching because it's free of cost